What's going on guys? Kind of just chilling here right now, back with some Street Fighter Duel, and honestly, I'm here to pull. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be doing Akuma pulls. New banner just dropped today, and doing single summons while I kind of talk about what's going on. I'm going to finish up with 10 time summons once I've wrapped up everything that I could think to talk about. And then I'm going to pull for Trendy Cami, I think. So, let's just get into it. So, the first thing I kind of want to mention is it's kind of really weird that they dropped Akuma the day before his event, like, actually started. Which, the only reason I could think of is to, like, bring people's hype up, and when they run out of tickets, they can provide another way for people to buy Akuma tickets. Or the special summon tickets, rather. Uh, but a lot of people have been talking about the rates and things like that. It's not visible whether there's pity or not in this game, so a lot of people are like, they removed pity, they added pity, etc, etc. I'm unsure. We don't have any confirmation on the dev side of things that Pity is in the game or not in the game. Uh, let's make sure that my audio is a little bit quieter just in case. And I'll bring my mic over here. Because I don't want to be talking and nobody be able to hear me at all. Uh, but yeah, like, we don't have any confirmation that pity has been adjusted in any way shape or form clearly like people have done 50 summons and gotten no akumas so it's if there is a pity system in this game for the special summons it's past 50 uh i know that some games have pity some pity systems that are well past 50 uh, genshin is one of the ones and honestly the summon animation reminds me a lot of genshin where pity is like 75 for soft pity and then after that if you don't get one until 90 summons that's when you pull a guaranteed unit so i'm not sure if it'll be like that or if it will be if there just straight up is no pity system i know a lot of people were talking about pity with the monster hunter kind event and I, they might have just straight up removed it um i'm not really sure I'm no definitive, uh, I'm no definitive answer when it comes to that, that's for sure. Uh, but the one thing that I think that this event is doing is it's going to lead towards what I would consider, like, the main, uh, not the main, like, the, the primary way that people will save their currency and use their currency. Like, in other gotchas that I played, like in Genshin, you're not gonna get a guaranteed unit every banner that rolls around. As unfortunate as it is, if you if you want them and you're free to play, or even if you get like the monthly tickets and stuff like that and do your dailies, you're not guaranteed to get the unit in rotation in the time that they roll around the first time. You might have to wait for your guaranteed and for your second run and stuff like that. And I think that this is kind of where Street Fighter Duel is moving towards. Where Akuma might roll around, and there will be people who don't get Akuma during the event time span. But these special divination tickets right here, it looks like Akuma is going to stay in the game. And you're going to be able to use the special summon banner uh, and pull for Akuma well beyond the Akuma event. And the reason I think this is actually because of wish lists. Like, there's a wish list for the exclusive fighters, and Akuma's the only one on it right now. Oh, that'd be funny if you removed Akuma. Um, and I think that if you... Like, the next fighter, the next exclusive fighter they'll release, whether it's Super Dan, or Evil Ryu, or Kage, or I don't know, Super Dan's not a real thing. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I wish you were. Like, they would show up in this exclusive fighter wish list, kind of like Divinations, and you can then use your special tickets for them. And I think that's just how it's going to be in the future. Uh, the other thing 
these special summon tickets, you can't refresh them in the shop, so you get three daily for 3,000 gems, which, I'm gonna be honest, the rate's not great. The rate 3,000 gems for three tickets is kind of crazy, but it's possible technically if you really like a character and really want to get a character. And I think that that's what people will start gravitating towards once they've built up their free-to-play units and once the meta kind of develops where people have ideal free-to-play units. And it's like, oh yeah, I have my Viper, I have my Beast Zangief, and I have, like, Elena. I can now dedicate my gems towards this special summon. I don't have to pull for them anymore. That's kind of where I feel like the future of this game is going to slowly gravitate towards, at least. I'm not 100% sure. I could be super duper wrong. Uh, but because of the wish list and because the tickets have been changed and the wording for Akuma has been changed and stuff like that, I could see it going that way. Now, what this means is if you don't want Akuma, if you don't need Akuma, save your tickets. Don't summon for Akuma. Like, I get that he's new and fancy and special. He's a great... Uh, boss nuke and stuff like that, but there are other good boss nukes. Like, there are videos that YouTubers have put out of insane boss nukes for free-to-play players, and Akuma is definitely not a free-to-play unit. He's gonna be something that you spend gems for days, weeks, months before you can get even SS, let alone SSS. So, save your tickets. If you don't want Akuma, save your tickets. Um... With the special summons being 3,000 gems in the shop, I personally don't mind it. Like, it's not a great rate, but it's at least possible for free-to-play players to get him. Uh, which, it'll be interesting to see how public opinion develops around the fact that they are there and that it goes from 8K, or 800 gems to 1,000 gems to 1,200. Like, I think it's fine. I haven't spent anything since Monster Hunter Ken. There are a few things that I've got my eye on, but like in terms of spending money on units in this game, I have no reason to, honestly. Like, it's, there's very little that would get me to spend, except for like things that I deem appropriately valued characters. And I think that's another reason why we're approaching this so-called like slow down in the game. Nine summons left, no Akuma. Nothing crazy, but let's, let's see. See if I can snag at least one. But I don't know, it'll be, it'll be interesting. The event officially drops tomorrow again, like I said, like, it's a little weird to me. I guess they want people to use their Akuma tickets and not have anything for when the Akuma event goes and then they'll be pressured into spending more on Akuma tickets, or special summon tickets, to, uh, try and get some more Akumas. The one thing I'm just really hoping that they don't do is lock it behind, like, have special event trackers where it's like, hey, do 10 special summons, and it not track these 53 that people have done free-to-play. I think that that would be really, really bad and not a good thing for the for the state of the game as a whole. I don't know though, we'll see. Yo? Okay? Was that my last one? Let's watch this animation. There he is, the boy. That was my last... <laughs> That was my 53rd ticket. The 53rd ticket got me Akuma. I guess that just goes to show that, like, if you want a special limited character, these are worth it. <laughs> hey. I guess that's the way it goes, but 
I don't know, let's let's move back over to divination, back over to the fun stuff. I think I'm gonna try to get A plus or S cami. If not, like I know the divination rates are interesting. But Gakuma on the 53rd. Wow. After that we'll just use our uh all the tickets that we've gotten from stuff. But that's really all the thoughts I have on the Akuma banner, not the Akuma event because it hasn't officially dropped yet. I'll just be looking forward to seeing how that goes, I guess. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a gacha game. Like, it's made to want you to pull units and pull people, and if they make this special limited time banner... Oh, there's a Kami. Uh, if they make this special limited banner that the gems are 3,000 for one pull, or for three pulls, like, that's just the way that it is, like, there's much better value. Wow. There's much better value for your gems, like, we all know that, like, yes, Divination's great for Bison, and... Yes, it's, like, it's 5,000 for a 10 pull. Like, if you want pulls, if you want units, that's almost 20 pulls for the 10 draws in the normal banner. Like, I'm not saying that it's a good use of your gems, but at least it is an option there, which I think is good. Not good, but, like, necessary, I guess? And now we have an even specialer especiallyer banner where it's more than fifth more than 5000 gems by a large margin where you get well let's see 369 9800 so it's almost double for a 10 pull so you could do 20 divination pulls with what you can spend for a 10 pull for this unit so i think it's equitable like it shows a trend but it's not, you can't expect every unit, I think, in gacha games to be worth the same, as unfortunate as it is. I think this is just my background of playing a lot of different gacha games. I guess not even a lot of different gacha games, just a lot of gacha games. It's just what I've come to understand as the nature of gacha games specifically. And I think that a lot of people expected Street Fighter Duel to be something different from what it was. And I think that's where a lot of the frustration comes from. But it's, it's just not. Uh, and I think that's where... I think that's where a lot of people who aren't familiar with gacha games will be weeded out from people who are committed to playing gotchas, specifically. I've gotta be close to out of gems, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're wrapping up uh, my summons here. That's kind of been all my thought. I got at least an A plus, Cami. That's good. Um, but like, I could have used those gems on my normal summons and gotten units up to triple S and stuff like that. Like, there's always perceived value that people have that it'll be much more value to do this or much more value to do that and at the end of the day nice it all boils down to just personal choice and what you want to do like yes there are good uses of your gems and yes there are bad uses of your gems like i'm not going to go into my guild shop or my city shop rather and like buy Hold on, I'm not going to go into my city shop and buy this gold ion brass knuckles for 11, 000, or 1100 gems because, like, I can get it via idol, but the items that you can't get as easily per idol, like even these workshop tokens, I could see value for, like, I'm going to pull on these workshop tokens. At the end of the day, it all boils down to what you as a player want to do with your gems. And I think that that's just kind of how it's going to be, honestly. But, 
that's all for me. That's all I've got on this video. Like, it was a different change of pace, but I figured people like watching summons. People like hearing conversation about what's going on in the state of the game, so why not do both? As always, I'll be working on more videos in the future. I didn't even honestly expect to put this one out there, but I'll see you in the next one, and hey, come here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here, come here. Hey there. Remember to tell the people in your life that you care about, that you love them. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!